Today, Kevin and I are gonna be trying the Arby's Arby sauce. An Arby sauce. This was $3.99 at Kroger for uh, each one, $3.99 each. It says a sauce for all the meats. So, I put the, yeah, I brought a, a little napkin to put this on. It does have a flip top, squirt top. Oh, that's good. Okay, here we go. So I'm assuming I when I go to Arby's uh, or any fast food place, I'm not one that gets dip. Uh, I'm really not. Uh, so I would assume that this comes with any sandwich, or, yeah, or well, they ask you if you want it, or count, uh, some sandwiches automatically come with it. So oh, that they just throw? Are they in pouches or something? Well, like if you get a roast beef sandwich, I think um, like the beef and cheddar comes with Arby sauce. You mean already, it's on the, on the sandwich? Oh, okay. And then the horsey okay. sauce, I always get a package of it because I used to love beef and cheddar sandwich. And um, I would always get a horsey sauce and squirt a little bit on there and take a bite and squirt a little bit on Okay. There. So, when I go to Arby's, I get a plain roast beef, roast sandwich. beef sandwich. With nothing on it. Literally nothing on it. <laughs> Literally nothing on it but the bun and the roast beef and the bun, you know. So, so I didn't know that they had them. Yeah, with I them. mean, that you can get the packages too, but okay. So, Arby sauce, I, think it's I guess Chick fil A came out with it, so now they everybody's going to be coming out with sauces and stuff. Um, it says Arby's famous Arby sauce, a sweet and tangy sauce with hints of vinegar, garlic, and onion. First discovered in a packet in an Arby's. <laughs> Um, try it on beef, pork, chicken. Refrigerate after opening. It says there are 16 servings in the container. Two tablespoons is 40 calories. That's not bad for two tablespoons. Mm -hmm. And we're trying it with chicken. Yeah, just a crispy chicken. It has that um, that vinegary kind of flavor that, that it should have. I mean, it, it's, it's the sauce. Mmm. I can see why you would like that. Mm -hmm. It tastes really good on a roast beef sandwich, which is the the standard, you know. Mm. I like it on chicken. Mm -hmm. It'd be good on steak. Is like a um, not a really well, like a like you dip wish and Worcester sauce. Mm -hmm. That'd be good to dip steak in. It um, it really mainly tastes like um, vinegar. Mm -hmm. You taste a lot of vinegar, but it's not, um, it's different than ketchup, you know, it's not, uh, but it, it does have a tangy, they meant, they said the word tangy on there, mm -hmm. it does have a tanginess to it, but it's not like it's, um, a sour, it's not going to make you pucker or anything like that, I think it, it actually goes really well with the, uh, with that chicken. It's good. If you like Arby sauce, you, you'll like, you, you'll enjoy it in the big bottle that you can buy at the store. Yeah, and really. All the time. And just keep it in the refrigerator. Yeah. So would you put that on a steak? Yeah, that's what I was saying. You could dip a steak in it. A just steak, a okay. Sauce if you wanted oh, to. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. I was thinking. Okay. You this a hamburger. Yeah. If you have a cold cut sandwich with just uh, um, ham and cheese, you could. Now you this looks that. like mayonnaise. Horsey sauce is thicker. Okay, horsey sauce. No more hoarding sauce packets. <laughs> a, a lot of people, I used to do that. You'd go to Arby's and get like five or six horsey packages and keep them around to use on a sandwich. So. A sauce called horsey. When your food needs a kick of horseradish, creamy deliciousness, and the familiar vibe of Arby's. And it says the same thing. Beef, pork, chicken, refrigerated after opening. Now this is more calories. And there's 32 servings in the container. One tablespoon is 60 calories. Whereas this was two tablespoons is only 40. One is 60. And these, just so you know, are distributed out of Westerville, Ohio. Okay. Here we go. Now this is not like a, I mean it is horseradish. But it's not like a burn your throat kind of horseradish. I mean I guess some people would have a problem with it. It's more of a mayo flavor. I can see why you like that. It's very good. It is very good. It is, it's, you could still tell it's, it's horseradish. Right. But some, most of the time, horseradish doesn't have that, that, uh, 
creaminess to it. Like this is a lot more creamy. Well, it's and, 100% mayonnaise with horseradish. And it burned, yeah, but normally for me at least, horseradish would burn. Mm. And it would be like, oh my gosh, I can't handle it. It's your, way too, your yeah, it's way too short. This does not burn at all. Mm. I think it's because it's so creamy. Yeah, I mean, you get a little bit of that kick, but not a burn. It's, mm -hmm. it's just like you get this, the, you know it's horseradish, but it's not like a burn. I mean, we've had horseradish chips that were had more burn than that. Oh, absolutely. <laughs> so now, is this not the kind of thing that you would put on like a salad? Ooh, can you imagine a salad with all that? That would be a lot. <laughs> well, I don't know. I mean, you can mix it in with I'm your salad thinking, dressing. I'm maybe. just thinking with, you know, when, when, we, when I make a homemade salad, I, I mix mayonnaise in it. That's right. the way we do it. We put mayonnaise in it. And, and I mean, you could probably add a little bit of that to it. I wouldn't want a whole salad with just that horseradish sauce. That wouldn't make you want to eat it more. No, it, it okay. wouldn't make it too strong for, for me. Now right. you can put a squirt in there and add a little bit of that flavor. It would probably be good. So what do you think that's best on? Sandwiches. I would put it on sandwiches. I thought you, have you not dipped french fries in that? No. Or no? I do mean, people you could. not do people that? People probably do. I don't know. I never did. Oh, okay. Yeah. See, I'm thinking in my head for some reason, and I'm having an image of people dipping french fries in mayonnaise. Yeah, I know that's a thing. But that's white. Yeah. <laughs> <It's> white. <laughs> I'm just thinking with people besides meat, is there other things besides meat? I'm sure people dip things, everything and everything. Yeah. yeah. Well, you'll have to let us know. Yeah, um, what do you use it on? If, yeah, if you're not using it, because everybody's going to say they use it for meat. If you're not using it for meat, what are you dipping in it? Uh, but my choice is going to be, I like them both, honestly. I, I, I think they're both nice. They're not too strong, mm -hmm. either one of them. Uh, you still enjoy the, the flavor of the meat itself, but my choice would be the RV sauce. Well, coming from someone that doesn't eat either one of them, yeah. it's more of a you choose. Me, personally, I'm going by, is it like the restaurant? It's the exact same thing as the restaurant. So if you, if you go to Arby's and you really like their sauces, this is just another way for you to get them without having to swipe packets from the store, from the restaurant. <laughs> <laughs> and you get a whole bottle of it, it's gonna last you a while. Right, exactly, yeah, this is gonna last a while. So I will have a picture of this mess on this plate for you at the end, and thanks for watching.